really posted, y'all niggas ain't fucking tripping. Making music every time, no counting fucking digits. She just wanna fucking suck me a fuck with person vintage. She just nigga, she just love me, nigga. Her pussy squilling. 317 city, nigga. I made my own decisions. I was really just being a nigga in the class I faced it. I'm putting y'all nigga the rapper, nigga. Yo! Yo! You gotta wake up! Wake that ass up, it's time to wake up. In the vocals, I really spit beats. I'm the Don King, y'all should give me the MVP of the crime piece. Niggas ain't really tripping, I put your baby mama in her misery. Ooh, this Power shit. on, pairing. Damn, I'm about to hit this motherfucker. And I'm about to be hot. <laughs> I'm about to spit straight <laughs> bars. And I was like, mm. oh, I'm gonna put Curly on a rapper. And I was like, oh, okay. That's like a unique name. Cause mm -hmm. my mama named me a unique name because she mm -hmm. didn't want to name me like a different kind of name like any other like car like or Chevy or yeah. other stuff people name their kids as, you know what I'm saying? So um, it made it kind of like, you know, it made it kind of like different for me to make, create my name as Curly on the Rapper. And plus mm -hmm. I was like a good kid because I, I didn't used to like hang around like the, like, I used to hang around bad people, but then like the stuff they used to do, I used to separate myself. So I used to, I used to separate myself like a swisher. So you know me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. I used to separate I used to, myself like a swisher. <laughs> yeah, I used to separate myself like a swisher and shit. So mm. you know what I'm saying? I used to just I used to just be cool and stay to myself and stuff. And then I started doing the music when I was seven. I started writing poetry because I used to get bullied in school, slapped around. So I thought mm. of the only thing of me expressing myself was like do like the music and writing poetry and ever since then my mind's been a, a, a poetry and maturity state of mind of attitude of me of learning how to express my feelings through poetry because the ink attaches to the paper which the, the paper attaches to the ink which is the paper understand me because it's it's like a um it's like it understands me you know what i mean mm -hmm. because every time i write it understands me it understands me, it understands what, you know what I mean, it understands what I'm saying and stuff, you see what I mean, so that's why I like, do the kind of music and shit like that, that's why I do it, and then that's why I have it like, it's like, you know, that's why I have it like, it's like, you know, like, music depression and stuff like that, so, when I have it like, it's music depression, you know what I mean, people, some people don't understand, and some people don't think, don't know what it means, but I consider, you feel like, if you express your music and then you suffer from depression, you suffering from music depression at the same time because you feel like no one's listening to your lyrics when you mm -hmm. write it. So that's why I express my music with, that's why I wanted it. That's why I had the idea to pick my stuff to be called music depression, so. I'm gonna fuck with that. I can definitely see through your, through your lyrics that shit that you were, that you were rapping. Because what you were rapping, you know what I mean? You're rapping stories. So because that's if, rap. I, if I rap non-fiction, then I'm, I'm a, if I rap non-fiction, then I'm a rapper. If I rap fiction, I'm not a rapper. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it's, it's different. It's different. It's different. They it's started off with different. the poetry too. I write spoken word myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's just that's just really nice. Yeah, cause my when I speak poetry, it's like deep as fuck. Like it's not even the fact me speaking speaking it. It's the fact that what I'm speaking it is is fucking nonfiction. Everything is fucking true. It's based out your story. Because mm -hmm. if you read the chapter, you can't judge a book by its cover. You have to read the chapter because the chapter is gonna dictate how the cover is gonna be. Mm -hmm. So when you read the chapter, the chapter the cover should be the same as the chapter because it's based on the true story and it should be the same it should be the same story that you was just already giving them you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying that's what it is some people just judge by the cover y'all make sure y'all check out magicalbutter.com y'all this is the first over the countertop botanical extractor y'all so you can make all your butters all your oils everything that you need for the essential most potent edibles that you can make y'all and you even got a cookbook y'all even got a cookbook you can get some rice krispie treats you can just make some wings. What, what else do you want to make? What else do you want to make? You got some magical coconut oil so you can cook with everything edible. They got they got salsa, slamming salsa. We getting lit. <laughs> y'all, check out the link in my description for $25 off, y'all. <gasps> some people try to make a, another cover to make it seem like the story is better, too. You know what I mean? A lot of these rappers are... Try to try to give out some fake shit, whether like they talk about like their clones or whether they say they did this or they used to rob people and shit like that. Like, a lot of rappers <coughs> that talk about this gang shit like that are rapping about someone else's life that they know. You know what I mean? <laughs> you right. They, like they talking about some drugs like that, but really their nigga was the plug. You know what I mean? They're rapping about his life, but he can't rap about his life because he might go to jail. He still might be doing that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> So a lot of them are coming off like they're like this big kingpin and shit like that. And a lot of them really aren't. Some of them are, and they talk about it, and you know they get they go to jail if they talk about it in interviews. You know, like Rallo, 
they are ab and shit like that. Shit like that happens. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's why when I write, write my music, I kind of express of how I feel like like a uh, New York producer just rejected my calls. I met him Speedway when his money is large. We talk about writing, rapping, and freestyling. Mama thought I started rapping because she started rapping. She never understood her own child. I'm going to be the one to really put you all in good homes. Producer told me I was K-Dot three years ago, but when I was in the car, just relaxing a little. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, me just, just rapping real shit. I'm like, I'm not rapping no, no funny ass. I'm not rapping no funny ass, fake ass shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just mm-hmm. rapping some real stuff. You know what I'm saying? And to keep my city close to me, cause it's it, I know it's sad to be from a city that that, that comes with no, comes with whack music of locals, you know. And um, these niggas down here be like, nigga down here be like, boom 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 boom, nigga. I was on the block selling this. I was fucking a bitch. I was pulling up in a wraith. Pull up in a Porsche. And they not pulling up in that shit. You can't even free, you can't even rap with these niggas. That's why every time people give me they mixed up, I'm like, man, I'm not about to take your shit, bro. Your shit trash to me, bro. And the, the reason why I consider the considering the fact that I consider it that your shit is trash to me is because if it don't catch if it don't catch a white person's attention, it's over. It's mm-hmm. over. Because <laughs> if it's not if it's just catching black men, okay, it's it's gotta be thugs. It gotta be gangsta. Mm-hmm. But if it catch white and Hispanic and a different race of people. You did something. Something mm-hmm. you did. You, you took off with a hit. You took off with a yeah. You took off with a hit. Yeah, you know I reached. Yeah, I reached the masses. You know what I mean. The music is like kind of hard because you got all these faggot ass rappers in the industry. All these fake ass rappers in the industry. Faggot ass rappers in the industry. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ooh, the city, but where I come from, these niggas is fake fantasy rappers because we don't know. Some of us don't know how to get it out. That like we we might as well take it what they took. How these. Re- uh, celebrity fake rappers doing it and then start not saying all of them but some of them and then start like using all they shit inside their music and then try to see if they take off you're not going nowhere in that town i'm gonna be honest with you you ain't going nowhere in a city called 317 because it's a city the city is nothing but jealousy hate and death okay and considering the fact that i said that is because they're gonna be jealous of you and motherfuckers gonna hate on you and it's gonna be death because they're gonna plot to kill you because they gonna want what you got you know what i'm saying so there been a lot of locals that lost their life in Indianapolis that be flayed. Oh, yeah, that comes with. Yeah, just, 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 up, just, yeah. just like Boosie said, most rappers die in their own city. You gotta have that outsource because like, that's why it comes with streaming. Like why I started live streaming, I started on YouTube because you can promote everything on your Instagram, your Facebook to everyone that you know, but you're only going to get the people you know. You know what I mean? And they yeah. might and they only and they might not fuck with they might not fuck with you to the point where they're gonna be buying all your shit besides your friends' friends, you know what I mean? So yeah. you gotta go out there to people that you don't know. And the only way to promote to you people you don't know is to be where you're not from. Operations like that, when they go to Europe, they blow up over Europe, they they blow up they're maybe from New York, but they blow up in LA or they blow up in Miami or Atlanta and shit like that because when people don't know you they wanna hear something different because I they, mean because it's need. different because the kind of music I write it's not like a, it's not the kind of like the music where well Okay, I see whether the music that I do, the music that I write, let's just say that the music that I write is kind of trappy, kind of hood, kind of, I'm going to kill you, bitch, you better not say nothing to me, nigga. Mm-hmm. I've been killing these niggas. I've been popping these niggas. You're going to attract that's, that thing. That's, that's not attractive. That's, mm-hmm. that's, that's, that shit gets dismissed in high school class, mm-hmm. out the classroom. That's, that's out of there. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm just saying basically the kind of music that I write is kind of heartbreak. It's kind of like how a woman feel about this, about her life women going through domestic charges mm-hmm. women out here pregnant and dudes leaving them like shit some of them out here how babies is being left in cars how the president's getting paid to say shit you know what i'm saying shit like that you know what i mean you know what i'm saying and uh yeah shit like that and basically the thing about it is it's crazy you know what i'm saying because the music that I write is that's, that's how I write about. I write about the society of life and what people really, really actually going through. Mm-hmm. Like girls being out on the street, cracked out, old men, homeless people being sent to war. You know what I mean? I write about shit, real shit that's really happening in the world. Mm-hmm. And I know so much about the music industry, about these fucking rituals and gay rituals and shit, Pandora rooms and condoms and shit, sauce and fucking truffle butter, nigga. That shit is so disgusting to me. Like, I don't understand. Like, all these rappers you hear, is he good or he good or he good? That shit, that shit, that shit lame. That shit, that shit lame. Mm-hmm. That shit lame. I don't rock like that. 
I got a different vibe than me. Do me. That's it. We gonna show them. We gonna show them how it is. We gonna show them the vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I move good out in silence. These niggas ain't worth my time in. I do it. Music is hot. Do a seven in my seat, I never ran no block But I was really fucking rapping and I caught them ops I was posted with my young niggas in streets But I ain't really pro no toaster, I went popping in streets I was a young nigga going to school and get my education, please And I was in school learning that and learning math, please And now the niggas leave their dreams cause they just know it's hopeless And girls really get pregnant cause the pussy spoken And all these niggas that just rapping, man, they out chosen And all these bitches sweat dicks cause they hoeing potion I don't really spare my music, but I'm really rapping. By the lighting from the hood, and I wasn't trapping. I was going to school, getting the best good of education. Girl told me that I really need the fucking basics. Learn poetry every lot, and then I sing and rap. I'm praying it to the Mac Chitna with Jimmy Mac. Uh, man, I'm just playing the witch I sing with the ice of death. The rebel with niggas, a roll that nice and seven roll. Peter's tub, but then I'm poking through your peep skull. A lot of niggas is talking shit, there's an ego. I was reposted, the economics was chosen. Motivation, I know you. Music, nigga, you hopeless. Spreading diamonds and spreading tears. A lot of niggas really don't see me. I'm really rapping like you just want a Grammy. I don't really fucking see me. I see your sister in your penny. And you ain't shit about. About that life, so you not hurting from me. I split you, nigga. Sex tape, not shit, getting fucking leaked. Pussy ass nigga, you better watch it. What you speak? Hey, I was just chilling, and every time my mama out, yeah, she was just pregnant when she fell down the stairs. Now, hey, nigga, they better not talk about mama. Uh, I'm just so protective and shit. I'm like a llama. Uh, I'm just just like killer. I'm not a killer. I'm dead good. I was going to school and running news like new kids. Uh. And I rode that fucking bus. I was the speedway. That shit turned to fucking angel dust. Smoking on weed with my niggas. I was posted every day. And I was going to school, getting an education, learning a different way. I was turning a different page. I was turning different states. I was wondering going to church. Cause that shit was really fake. Fuck the Bible, fuck the church. Cause the church is get you hurt. And the backtider get you wet. And the things that get you slept. Ain't to get a fucking curse on you, nigga. You ain't shit. I just know the old nigga. I used to have a necklace. That shit was fake. I ain't gonna say that shit was real. Cause if I say it was real, then I ain't Dave Chappelle. Hey, I ain't paying jokes like you know. Moonwalker, Michael Jackson, you know. Singer like Whitney Houston up in the club though. RP, rest in peace to Exactacion though. Yeah, niggas really don't know that. Shout out to Juice Well, making these bitches hopeless. Hey, and I'm a nigga, I'm a fucking killer. And I don't got no fucking time with you fucking spitting. Hey. I'm a nigga with the ice scope. Pussy brain, she gave me dope, not her head dope. Ayy, she just know how to fucking choke. When I brought her in the crib, she don't know how to act. Put her on the bed, leave her fucking body flat. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> body flat. <laughs> that shit went crazy. <laughs> that shit unique. Huh? That shit me. unique. Oh, me, bro. You definitely got your own sound, man. I was sitting over here like. You was speaking, you speaking to the mic, right? Bro, we, we about to be in the studio, you know what I mean? Soon, just like, you know what I mean? I see it just come natural, bro. You got it. Yeah. yeah for real, for real. My boy Curly on the rapper. Yeah, Curly on the rapper, bro. You dig. YouTube, Spoil boy Willie Liddy on me. It's yeah. your boy Willie Liddy, y'all. We getting really lit. <laughs> oh, yeah, the rapper, dude, what's up, dude? You know, folks already know how we rockin' now. Yeah. Hey.